question. When we were talking this morning, you said something brilliant. So <laughs> let's talk about equity in the household and pleasure. Yes. And I had this thought because I get so many questions from men. And this week I had four. Mm -hmm. And I am thinking about putting something, a little online course together for men, because you don't understand what it's like to be a woman and have a vagina. Mm -hmm. Okay. Our standards are higher. We have to multitask all the time. And sex energy is creative energy. Mm -hmm. And I read this stat. They said men on average have five hours a free time a week. And that's nice. That's like a couple of movies. That's mm -hmm. meeting a friend for a drink. Um, that's doing any kind of hobby. Women have 24 minutes. Mm -hmm. That's not even one Netflix episode. Right. So we're working, we're nurturing, we're doing family, we're taking care of our family, all of the roles. Think of all the roles women have, right? Mm -hmm. 24 minutes isn't enough time for you to just relax. I have to be relaxed and I have to have some free time before I think about arousal and sex, before I feel anything. Like I'm still numb. Yes. Share that story about equal duties in the household and, you know, how typically men kind of pat themselves on the back <laughs> when well, they really need to be more equal. We still do 80% of the household chores. And I think what gets exhausting as a woman, because I am in a heterosexual monogamous marriage with a child, right? So I can now speak to these things, which for me was quite kinky. Mm -hmm. All right. And that's what I ended in. It's consistency. Mm -hmm. it's the expectation that I'm going to do anything. And it's not about doing it yourself. It's doing it and then reminding everyone else around you and nudging. And so you have mm -hmm. to keep your eye on the ball all the time. And you have to tell someone four or five times to do something. And that's exhausting. And that also takes away from the creativity and the spontaneity and all the things that make us feel passionate. Um, and really, equality in the household equals wet pussy. I have to say that, like, fuck the flowers, fuck the lingerie. Yes. All right. Because that's so obvious. It's like, oh, I want you to fuck me more. Here's this. Um, the genital grab at night at, after a long day. It just, not, you know what got me so excited for my husband mm -hmm. is he watched me in the mornings doing all kinds of stuff for Grace and getting mm -hmm. him out to school. And he just started making up him breakfast. He got up 15 minutes earlier, making mm -hmm. his lunch, packing it up so that I could have a cup of coffee in the morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nothing made me want to suck his cock more. <laughs> right? <laughs> because it's like, you're being thoughtful. You're thinking of me. Mm -hmm. Well, and taking on a duty, taking on a role without being asked. In my last relationship, I felt like I turned into the, a mother because, you know, while we're living together, um, even though he was willing to help out with certain things, I still had to be in charge and remind him. And sometimes he'd get resentful that I'd have to remind him. <laughs> so I'm doing everything while he's having time relaxing. And so I think it needs to be self-initiated. Um, and it needs to be something done on a regular basis that takes something off your plate. Consistency. If you want a woman to want sex, take stuff off her plate. Mm -hmm. Another thing, don't just touch her for sexual touch. Mm -hmm. Give her a back rub with no happy ending yes. for you. <laughs> right? So that way th there isn't this tension and this energy of like, I'm touching you, I'm kissing you, and that means I'm going to get something. Mm -hmm. Give with no need to receive. Yes, yes, yes. And I know that can be hard mm -hmm. because you desire her and that's wonderful and you're horny. And so how I think this works in marriages and long-term relationships is just express simple. Uh, I'm going to give you a massage and then I'd like to uh, masturbate and you can join me, right? Or if you want, I'll go in the other room and see what she says. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. There needs to be more honest talk about our desires and our needs. And, and because if we don't, you know, if, if there's just like a back massage with the unspoken expectation that there's going to be sex afterward, that's not really a gift. That just 
helps us learn that every time we're touched, we're going to have to give something. Yes. And as soon as we have to, as soon as it's an obligation, it's not fun. Mm -hmm. Now for women or the partner that is not, is lacking desire, right. And not initiating, um, say it out loud. There are times that I just look at my husband and say, you know, I'd really love to have sex with you, but I'm exhausted. Right. (laughs) Right. I'd really like to do X, Y, Z and let's make a sex date. Making a sex date is very powerful because it's like, you know what? On this date, we're going to have a sex date. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like how we used to date. Right. 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 Exactly. Exactly. And you need to put it on the calendar and make time because we're busy in our lives. And that initial romantic desire, that new relationship energy fades with time. It always does. It does for everyone. So in order to keep sex in your relationship, it does take effort. Help out without being asked. Offer touch without expectation. And state what you want. Take care of yourself. Take care of your own needs. That's what's so amazing about masturbation. We can have an orgasm anytime we want it. And invite our partner in. 